so I was out here just jogging not jogging jumping jumping there's a lady who came she came to pick you know those people who pick uh, bottles from the trash she came to pick bottles from the trash so me I was just minding my business first of all there was an old man who came he started walking out I asked him I mean, send catches in the like how old are you because he was he looked so old for him to exercise he's like i'm 68 i doubt he's 68 he looked older than 68 anyways he was exercising so he, he was using the, the 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 machines over there while i was just skipping then he did exercise for like five minutes and he left <laughs> then another old lady came she picked bottles from the trash so she said hi to me which is very rare so i was like hi then um she's like i'm picking bottles to just you know like um to sell them i got curious i was like how much do you sell them how much do you sell the bottles for guess how much she said she said one bottle for two turkish lira do you know how to how much two turkish lira is two turkish lira is probably 0, 0.000 something dollars and i was just subhanallah like she's here picking bottles to sell to buy bread and i'm here just skipping a rope and i'm gonna go to the house and eat unfortunately i didn't have money i would have given her money but i don't carry money when i'm going to exercise i just carry my phone and my airpods that's it but i wish i had money or i felt so bad i would have given her like 200 actually to go and buy bread she was like i'm just doing this to buy bread do you know how much bread is in turkey 10 actually which is less than a dollar itself and you know it, this shows how much life is becoming very difficult in turkey that people uh, she's a woman she's a woman and she's old she looks like my mother and she's literally out here hustling very early in the morning to buy uh, and she doesn't look bad like the way she's dressed she doesn't look bad and this is this is this tells you life is difficult in Turkey like it's really really difficult and it's so sad to watch how life is difficult I don't like to see people suffer but then what do you do you cannot serve the whole world I try my best I just said Alhamdulillah. It's really, really sad. what are we having today a lot we are having a lot of food anyways it's still in the morning and i'm thinking of making smoothie but i feel like i'm not hungry for a smoothie so i have uh, mangoes i i got mangoes yesterday from the pazar for like 80 Turkish lira that's like two and a half dollars do you know how much two and a half dollars i can get mangoes in kenya for anyways so I wanted to make mangoes and strawberries and uh, bananas but I'm gonna switch I'm gonna have that one maybe at around 11 11 a.m. now it's like 8 so I'm just gonna have coffee and these two figs and one peach because I feel like it's too much food so I'm gonna have maybe the smoothie later inshallah so I'm just gonna have oh the reason why I was saying I mean the reason why I was saying I have so much food I even forgot my green juice which I need to drink fast so this is the normal stuff cucumber, spinach, collards and apples but I forgot to put ginger yesterday not I forgot I don't even have ginger oh this is the only time I need a man, to be honest. <laughs> this is the time I remember I need a husband, because what is this? Well, I cannot open. Yeah. This is the only time a man is useful. <laughs> So all our cute little glasses broke because you guys jinxed the glasses. So 
I'm gonna drink from this blender which I have to smell. It's nice to drink like green juice in the morning and it's cold. So yeah, that's what's for breakfast today. Just coffee, peaches and figs and water. And then later on, we're gonna have the mangoes. Let me just return them back in the freezer. Because there's no point. There is no point in this for my face. This is how you stay young, eh? I remember why. Do you remember that TikTok where we used to dip our faces in cold, in ice cold water? I no longer do that. But me and my cousin we used to do that. We were like obsessed. Every day we walk in the morning, we put ice cubes in the, in the bowl and then we put our faces in it. But it, it's nice, it's like deep up. Me, the only thing is just to deep up my face. Because when I wake up in the morning, my face is normally like very, very puffy. But it's nice, it's like fresh, it's very cool. So yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee and listen to my YouTube stuff that I watch in the morning. I'll see you guys when you see me. Lately, I've been listening to Juice 28, like Tafsir of Juice 28. So I'm on Surah Al Jum'ah and this Sheikh, what is his name? The Pakistani Sheikh. I forgot his name. <laughs> He's been doing like I'm watching like last year's Ramadan um, Tafsir of Quran of Surah Al Jum'ah. And he has like a whole series from, I don't know, still number one until I don't know which number. I'm on number five. So, and the, surah, the whole surah has 11 verses, but it has so much tafsir in it, subhanAllah. So that's what I'm going to listen to. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to chill at home. I don't know what tomorrow holds. Allah we alam. So, see you when you see me. And sometimes in Rukur, the Prophet them sometimes would say So it's used there. It's also used for the angel Jibreel, right? Ruh Al-Qudus, Ruh Al-Qudus, you'll find it in the Quran. So what is uh, what I want you to take from this so far is it seems to be similar. Pure, purify. What does that have to do with the water being elevated? I'll explain in a second. But it's similar to Tasbih because Tasbih was to make your concept of God pure. And now Taqdis is also... That's over here. So they, they couldn't figure out which one is the messenger, so Allah my son, because he was so among the people before you and some people within this one. If a group among them declares one person is the same to Shaytan. Okay? So, <laughs> then, we can't afford Purpisha or whatever. So, yeah.
to do that. When the guy gets used to that, then he walks into a restaurant and nobody got out. People kept eating their sandwiches. So, these people, I mean, that's the picture. But it's, it's, it reads Otis and Yahweh, uh, the holy to Yahweh, an inscription born on the forehead of the high priest of Israel. Meaning the Qudus is, is a word that was being used before, you know, the Quran talked about this word. In Hebrew, it was already being used by the Christians and by the Jews. It's access to that information, that is classified documents. The, the Israelites don't have access to that. Just like the archives in the hierarchy of the church to be able to access those manuscripts. They're not, you can't just Google that. Actually, only the knowledge that was only accessible to the highest priestly sources. So they just accidentally did such that. Okay? The Quran vindicates the angels. The Quran comes and says, no, 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 the angels didn't make a mistake. Much more interesting, blah, blah, blah. Because there's a, there's a director's cut that's different from the original author. Well, some of that happened. Allah revealed the story. And then over time in the Jewish and Christian accounts, according to the Quran, you guys made some director's cut choices. Assalamu alaikum. So there is a second day. Same outfit. <laughs> I just came again here to just like uh, skip. And I was just about to tell you about a guy who was staring at me. And then there's this guy who just walked in. I don't know if he was trying to walk towards me or because he came towards me, then he saw me recording, and then he moved. Anyways. Normally people stare at me because I work out there. That's where I work out. See there where there's the gym stuff. And then the bus stop is right there. Again, it's the wall. So normally people look at me when they're there. But they just look and then they just, ah, this uh, foreigner walking out and then they just mind their business. But today there was a guy who was literally staring at me non-stop. He was deliberately missing his bus just to stare at me. I had to take a video of him. Yeah, I, I thought so too. Idiot. I was like, I'm gonna take a video of you because it's too much. You know, if you look at me even once, twice, I'll, I'll be okay. I don't mind. This guy was literally facing me, looking at me the whole time. I had to move. Walking out from there, I had to come here to the baby's uh, area. It's very, very annoying. Can't even walk out in peace. Why are you looking at me? Like, I don't mind looking at me because macho aina pazia, you can look at me. But this guy was consistently looking at me and then doing like this. I literally took a video of him and I'll put it here. Oh, this is a beautiful cut. But I don't have cut food today. Allah, he's stretching himself. Hi. Good day, Dean. How are you? But I don't have food. But don't know. Don't bite me now. Uh -uh. Anyways, this is my second morning. Oh, I knew it. Ala, you're so cute. But I don't want you to bite me. Him. Now where are you going with my pink? <laughs> you want to hold it? Okay, then go with it. Let's see. Where are you going to go? He's really determined. Hi.
okay? Now what? He's trying to hold it. I'm trying to dig it back. Look. Is it you as now? He doesn't want to let go of my rope. <laughs> Don't jump me, please. Why he wants to jump me? Bye bye. This cat sometimes, why they can be very aggressive. Look, look, look. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Please do not jump me. Please, I am begging you. <laughs> oh my days. Today I look so beautiful. Allahumma barik. You know? There are some days you feel you feel beautiful, but then there's some days you look at yourself in the mirror, you're like, ooh, who's that girl? <laughs> Today is one of those days. Allahumma barik. I feel so beautiful. I don't know why. I just feel beautiful. And then there's some days I feel ugly. Like I look I, I even run away from my own ref like when I go to the bathroom and I look myself in the mirror. I'm like, mm, who is that girl? <laughs> but today we are gonna enjoy feeling hermosa. Anyways, what is the agenda today? Today I'm going to pick money from the bank. I'm going to withdraw money from the bank. Let me see, do I have my wallet and my ID card? Before I leave the house, because sometimes I do leave the house without my wallet okay so i need to go withdraw money a client sent money and he sent so much money i'm worried if the bank is going to give me Yes, always confuse me. Yeah, I don't know if you see this. I will make for you. 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 He's giving you the money. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today is Friday. It's like nine. But I woke up at like 6.40 ish. I'm not praying, so I can wake up whenever I want. Anyways, I'm just having breakfast. <laughs> I'm having breakfast while watching my kid, my sister's kids. I got the access, uh, I got access to the camera in my sister's, <laughs> my sister's home. And I just watch my sister's kids in the morning. So this is how you know you're obsessed. This is an unhealthy obsession, but what can I do? I love my sister's kids, you know. Oh, well, let me see what you guys are up to at home. <laughs> Anyways. So I woke up, I did my morning routine. I, today I didn't go to work out uh, outside. Because I'm trying to confuse my enemy. You see, that guy who was watching over me yesterday, he was literally staring. I was thinking, perhaps he's going to think today I'm going to go there again to work out. Which I normally do, like, I would love to skip rope every day. But today I was like, no. 
let me work out from home. So I just did some cardio, some yoga, and some meditation. And then I showered, made my bed, just the normal, usual morning routine. Bismillah Now I'm having my juice. Then I'm just gonna uh, sit on my bed. I just put Surah al Kaf. Today is Friday, no? I just put Surah al Kaf on my phone, on my laptop. I'm gonna continue watching my series uh, for the tafsir of Surah al Juma. I don't know why it's not coming to an end. It's been a long. <laughs> I don't know how how long that khutbah was because it's a YouTube video, but I know it was like a khutbah, you know. This hijab is very funny. I just randomly bought it, but I don't like this spongy thing. You see, maybe for the winter, yes, but now summer, I don't think it's ideal. But I love it because it's closed. <laughs> so I don't need to pin. Oops, I don't need to pin. So you just, you, know, you just wear it and that's it. Like there's no pinning, but I wish they could remove this. But I love this, that I, I don't have to. So you just wear it like that. I just randomly bought it from a mall. I think it was how much? I don't know. Or maybe like eight dollars. I look like Turkish grannies. <laughs> uh, anyways, that's it for the. I guess that's it for the for the vlog. I'll end the vlog here. You know, it's just been a boring week. Very slow. Very boring. Very nice. Very cutesy, very demure. <laughs> anyways, anyways, we don't forget to depuff the face. Sometimes you're in the house and then you just hear funny, funny noises and you're like, what is going on? It's not rolling. Yeah, I feel like summer is coming to an end. It's about to get cold again. But I hope I'll be in Kenya. Inshallah. That's my plan. It really feels nice, this thing, like just, you know, the cold on the face, you know, it just feels, anyways, bye guys, adios, I'll see you guys when you see me.